President like Biden laying out more of his plans to fight the pandemic, calling on all Americans to wear masks for his first 100 days and announcing that he'll keep Dr. Fauci as a top advisor. Mary Bruce is in Washington with the latest. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Well, Joe Biden's top priority now is developing a strategy to tackle this pandemic. And now he's starting to spell out some of the steps he will take on day one while still acknowledging the very long road ahead. This morning, as the nation grapples with the resurgent coronavirus crisis, President-elect Joe Biden says when he takes office, he'll ask all Americans to do one simple thing to stay safe. I'm going to ask the public for 100 days to mask. Just 100 days to mask, not forever. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris saying their administration's strategy for confronting the pandemic is just one of the many changes to come. There couldn't be a more extreme exercise in stark contrast between the current occupant of the White House and the next occupant of the White House. But Biden is asking one member of the Trump White House Coronavirus Task Force to stay on the job, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Biden extending the invitation during their first meeting since the election and offering Fauci a promotion. I ask him to stay on in the exact same role he's had for the past several presidents. And I asked him to be a chief medical advisor for me as well. Well aware of the long road ahead, Biden is looking to build confidence in a vaccine. Three former presidents, Clinton, Bush and Obama, all say they're willing to be vaccinated on camera before the American people. Biden now promising to do the same. When Dr. Fauci says we have a vaccine that is safe, that's the moment in which I will stand before the public. And it's important to communicate to the American people it's safe. It's safe to do this. But Biden is stressing that the rollout will be a monumental challenge and says his administration can't do it alone. But it's an incredibly expensive proposition, incredibly expensive proposition. That's why we're continuing to uh, hope that the, that the Senate does something and responds to the, the immediate need to provide dollars. Biden is now backing this new $900 billion bipartisan compromise bill to finally provide some COVID relief funding. But he is going to want to push Congress to do more. And like the rest of his agenda, that too will hinge on who ultimately controls the Senate, George. Right. And we know that President Trump is heading to Georgia tomorrow to campaign for the Republican candidates for that Senate in the runoff on January 5th. It comes as a lot of his allies are worried that the attacks he's made on the election system in Georgia is going to make it harder for those candidates. Hey, George, there's very real concern that the president's false claims of voter fraud could suppress voter turnout among Republicans. The president is basically trying to have it both ways. On one hand, he is saying that the system, falsely saying that the system was somehow rigged against him, while also he's going to be out urging people to get out and vote. Democrats are also well aware of what's on the line here. They're sending out their heavy hitters. Former President Obama expected to be trying to get out the vote there as well. Mary Bruce, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.